this woman goes turn on your side Mm -hmm. and spread your cheeks spread spread it like she she literally she took my hand she put it on my butt she was like move it Um, and yeah, this is not in real time. As you're watching this, Christina's getting her pussy popped in Positano. No, she's not because she has a boyfriend. <laughs> no, she's not. That was quite the intro. And we're back. <laughs> I'm popping my own pussy. She's popping. Paige is popping Christina's pussy in Positano. <laughs> not even that. Okay. And it's off to a bad start. <laughs> Imagine you're like, can we yeah, start but I will be popping my own <laughs> pussy in Positano. <laughs> um, yeah, we're pre-recording. I go to Positano in two days. And you guys already know what happened last year in Positano. There was a lot that went into last year with the Italian husbands and this and that. Uh, I will be running into them this year. I know I will. So maybe we'll have some updates. I don't Can I really remind know. them exactly what happened? Sure. So it was like like this was a, my favorite one of my favorite gin and toxic clips of all time when we were like it's like Lizzie McGuire it's like the Lizzie McGuire oh, movie yeah. except yeah I got fingered on the beach, beach. Yeah. yeah fingered on the beach who's got, who gets fingered anymore the last time I got fingered was eighth grade like <laughs> you know what I mean like I remember getting That's fingered so for the first true time. though I don't know why but I was like <laughs> just so nervous to like do anything else I think because <laughs> I was just like on a beach with like a foreign man and yeah. like I didn't want to go home with him and I also didn't want to bring him back to my hotel because me and Paige like we didn't have like a private room or anything you know yeah. it was like me and her we had like no. these twin beds and like I wasn't gonna go home with him because yeah. I was like this What's- is a stranger technically Hello? yeah Anyways, no, yeah. it was the right choice. It was the right choice. You popped your pussy I, in Positano. I made <laughs> I made memories in Positano last year that I will never forget for the rest of my life. Did you see my two hundred uh, Snapchats today? No, uh, certainly not. Okay, great. <laughs> you don't need to. No, um, I've been watching but- them though. I did. I posted because uh, I like you know, guys. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, go follow me on Snapchat. Beauty LOL. Jackie, LOL. Said no one ever. Um, I know. Said no one ever. Well, I don't know. I, apparently Snapchat. Actually, yeah. Apparently Snapchat is like the thing. Um, all the cool kids are back on Snapchat. All the cool kids are back on Snapchat. According to David my David Dobrik. Yeah. Like all of them. Corinne's David Dobrik. Teddies are out and every David, fucking, right. you know. But. Yeah, no, so I've been posting on Snapchat on my stories. Anyways, I did like a gigantic story time today on there because I was like, I need to get some content up. So I was just like, guys, I'm going back to Positano in a week. Here's what you missed from last year's Positano trip. And I told the entire story with uh, both Italian husbands, the main one, and then also the other guy that gave me my Vespa ride, and then some honorable mentions, and then just some (laughs) honorable mentions that don't have to do with men that have to do with me being like brutally hungover and just like some other random things like I had to jump from our boat in Capri I had to jump from our shit little boat onto a stranger's boat because they had a bathroom on their boat and we didn't have a bathroom in our boat and I was literally about to piss my pants it was fun um wow it's an experience yep period it was great anyways (laughs) so more memories to be made this year. And we'll you're going see. to Puglia, which is like my favorite part of Italy. Yes, it's beautiful. I am I'm excited to, for you to be there. I was going to say, I'm going to Puglia literally because Lily recommended it. It's like Wait, the opposite you, coast. You're going to get there and text me and be like, I fucking hate it here. <laughs> I would laugh well, so hard. Well, you were like, hard. Every, all my friends I hated Milan. I liked Milan. No, I definitely don't hate Milan. I just, I think I recommended not staying there for more than like two or three days. Yeah. Because it's like small. Which I like, I get. Yeah, but I definitely I think I stayed it. there for like, I think I stayed there for four days. Yeah. I mean, on the last day, there wasn't I was really so much to do anyways, I, I loved it. I just was, like, glad yeah. I didn't spend more than, like, I mean, pages. definitely out of all the places I've been to in Italy so far, it's, like, not in, like, my top three. Right. That's but, like, what I was saying. Still, it's still beautiful. You know? It's worth it for the Duomo alone, in yeah. my opinion. But, yeah, so Positano and anyway. Puglia, very excited. So uh, but, yeah, so we're pre-recording. So when you guys are watching this, I will be there. Popping her pussy. Popping uh, like my I pussy. Said. I gotta actually, when we're done recording, I gotta show you everything I got. I didn't get to show you any of my stuff that oh, I bought. Oh, yeah. I'll show you and then I'll Slug. let you free. Yeah, I'm gonna be like one foot out the door like, great, that's yeah. cool, Christina. 
Lily has been working this like insane styling job all week, like going in at like six a.m. I got a job. Well, not really. It was like, freelance, but well, <laughs> freelance work, I'm but getting, well paying, paid. good freelance work. Yeah. yeah, but today was like our one day to like record, and it was still just like oh my god, chaotic. I know. Yeah, but anyways, toxic confe- uh, not toxic confession. Sorry, toxic thing of the week. I realized that I kind of have two, and okay. I feel like it's been a while since I've gotten like graphic on here, and I think I'm ready because you, I'm in yeah. The mood. What are you going to say? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, I wasn't prepared for this. I'm well, so okay. excited. Also, no, it's good. It's good. Um, it's a little little sex position moment, but Ooh, we'll okay. get into that. We're going to put these are two work bay moments. So one is the set I was on this whole week. It was a it was a commercial for clear the yes. airport. What even? You know, it's the airport security is, thing. The airport security thing. Like um, you scan your finger t- detect your eyes I literally just signed up for it in Orlando <laughs> that was so like funny that ago. you told me that and you know what's nuts is their office we shot at their office we didn't end up shooting at the airport but um it was a two-day shoot we shot at their office it was like in meatpacking Chelsea-ish that office was giving like Google headquarters it, really dude I, I'll show you pictures well I mean they're like it was nuts on I've never been in an office like that in my life well I mean they're like like I knew they nice. are like a they got to be multi billion Bi- yeah trillion dollar no, business yeah. by now. Also to go like to get a business to that level to be like also like TSA like you know com- like like you're working with the government no, on that yeah, like yeah, you yeah, know 100%. they get they get they get catered breakfast and lunch every single day and it's hybrid they were, the office was half empty what? they get they have cold brew on tap they got soda machines the honestly it was on fresh and where was this um where's their headquarters it's in like on 15th kind of near Ma- meatpacking chelsea ish it's not like in the google like no it's it building is. is it it's uh next to it next to the google yeah, building yeah. oh wow okay. it was the craziest office that it was just so yeah random. i want to see we walked pictures. in i was like what the fuck yeah <laughs> it was crazy i was texting lily oh my god i was cracking so many jokes i oh, was like yeah. it's giving terminal four well, I was t- the looks like, were like oh, like we pulled them from like h&m what did Zara. i say i was like it's giving terminal four it's no you giving- said it's giving put your laptop in the bin yeah i, I literally was <laughs> dying at that no, i said it's giving put your laptop in the fucking bin no you had a few really good ones yeah i was dying i know but anyway i'm on this set and I take a picture of something and I put it in my story and my friend um, Matt replies and he was like, oh my God, my friend Colin is actually on that set. Like, you know, let me know if you end up meeting him. And I was like, oh, I never talk to anyone but the wardrobe team. Oh so <laughs> I said, sorry. I said, it's giving, take your laptops out of your bag and put them in the bin chic. It's giving 3.4 fluid ounces of clear liquid in a bag. <laughs> and it's giving Hudson News, Dan. No, it was great. <laughs> no, that, that, it really was giving though. We really got the assignment and we ran yeah. with it. Like we, she sent we me the photos it. of it and I was like, okay. <laughs> I did my best for the assignment slay for the assignment slay the, um, the mood board had like like um Ms. nine west like loafers a, like a neon yellow turtleneck okay that, that color was on the mood board i was like that's quite the color for yeah. this but okay period um, for this very navy mood board I, I know i was like okay we're gonna throw some chartreuse in there but that's great <laughs> Um, but anyway, I was on the set and my friend Matt was like, yeah, my friend Colin's on the set. And I was like, oh, I doubt I'll meet him. I don't talk to anyone but the wardrobe team. But then it turns out first day I'm on the set. I'm sitting there and I see this guy kind of eyeing me and I'm like, oh, that must be Matt's friend. He must like whatever. Yeah. But he comes over to me and he's like, hey, I didn't want to say this in front of your boss, but I'm a huge fan of the podcast. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, thank you. Like, Period. please keep your fucking voice down. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have anyone Don't know. tell anyone. I talk about penis on the Internet. <laughs> like, please stop. But then I end up like being a stalker and like finding his Instagram somehow. And we had no mutuals except for Matt. And he had and he was already following me. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you and the podcast. I was like, he was like, it gets me through my long drives. He was like as straight as it gets. Like, and then we the, love, and let me just say, like, no, we, obsessed. we are obsessed with our male audience. Uh, obsessed. And All of you guys that are listening, we love you. We want to hear from you more. Please DM us. Yeah. And he had like, a, Please DM. he was like our, exactly the type of guy we want listening. Great sense yeah. of humor. And then the next morning he comes up to me and he goes, scored me huge brownie points with my girlfriend last night she was <laughs> losing it that I met you I was like that's amazing yeah like, whatever but then I was like my other the other assistant for the job was work bay I actually got him a gig like yeah. working with me so work bay once again um and I was like so you know uh you know work bay <laughs> and the show? Was like he was like Oh yeah, I think I've heard you talk about him and like you're toxic. He's like, oh, that's the chaotic one. I was yeah. like, yeah, that's him. He's right, right here. And he was like, 
no way he's about five feet away yeah. <laughs> like, no way it was like a celebrity sighting I yeah like, yeah so oh, <laughs> a wild work bay number two is, yeah okay now what the fuck is this because she told me about the first toxic confession so, <laughs> i don't know what this is gonna be so i'm not a huge did fan. you tell me no, no i haven't i did, just popped yet. in did my you? head okay. as i sat here to record our fucked up podcast <laughs> i was rem- recalling I'm a little silly fucked up podcast yeah. uh, i don't love 69 i don't know about you it's no. not my thing not my thing not my thing i just can't like i can't not focus on getting it. off like right you know if i'm like focusing on sucking, sucking the dick, dick i'm sucking I the dick can't focus on getting off right but so typically when i've done 69 actually the only way i've done 69 is the guy is laying down yeah and you're and on you're top fucking on there putting in work you yeah. know whatever i tried it a the other way a, the other way around so i was laying with on the bed my head was like hanging off the edge of the bed i'm sucking dick he's over <laughs> eating i know the really? logistics don't sound like it would work out but the dick well was so i was nicely just like what i was gonna and- say is he like face fucking you basically in yeah huh okay and i enjoyed every second of it really and it was a life-changing experience hmm. yeah so i just want to recommend that to the people give it a try and also just sucking dick upside down i, I did that also the day prior that's a that's a experience. What do you mean you suck dick Sucking upside dick down? Upside down. I'm hanging off the edge of the bed like this, like hi, dick, and dick's in mouth. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I understand how that works if you're 69ing, but you said you did it the day before. How did you do it the day before? In the same position, but he wasn't doing anything to me. Oh, he and then just, we went to do it again the next day, and then he was like, "Wait a minute, I can just kind of." So he beep. was like riding your face, but upside with his dick. Down. Yes, correct. <laughs> that is correct. And okay. I just want the people at home to give it a try. You know, that's what I'm doing here. Reverse 69. But was there even <laughs> a reverse to begin with? Is it always? It's usually the girls on the top. I feel like when people think of 69, they think about the girl on the top. Yeah, that's always so, how it's been. Because I have 69 with a ton of change guys. Change it up. Switch it up. Try Switch it out. It. Yeah, I feel like whenever we talked about this in Sex Opinions, whenever I hear somebody doing 69, I'm like, that's so high school. So high school. It's so like I'm Shit just was learning lit high sex. School, but like, you're like you have like sex for the first time, you lose your virginity, and now you're like, ooh, I'm gonna try a position. Let's try sixty nine. Yeah. <laughs> like you know, like you're a little kid. Yeah. When you write like when you're on like the fucking, it gives me the energy of like being in middle school and writing eight zero zero eight on your calculator, yes. so it spells boobs. boobs. It's the same. Energy. It's the same energy. But it's like I love the concept, but the execution's never right. Yeah. But like me and Workbay are very big oral enthusiasts. We yeah. Love oral. Oh yeah. So we were like, we need to make this work somehow. And I we found it. like love oral. Boyfriend gives me oral. He's not a big fan of oral like on him though. Like for like a little bit as like right. a starter, and then he's like, I'm trying to fuck. Every guy like, likes it, but some guys like oh, let love, love it. it. Like yeah. D- Workbay will fall to his knees and cry for a blowjob. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, that's his jam. So I've just had to a- a- adapt to that. Yeah. I'd be sucking dick now. <laughs> I'd be sucking dick. Or Period. Day. Yeah. Wow. So, All right. Reverse 69. <laughs> you heard it first. Yeah. Give it a try, guys. Let Speaking me know. of vaginas. Speaking <laughs> of vaginas. My, I don't know what, where this is going. Well, my toxic thing of the week is my Brazilian wax. Oh, oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> so right, it's not right. like toxic, but listen, guys. It's just I, tea. Yes, tea. And she did I, share this with with the men that we just met. I did. <laughs> why did we, I bring it up again? I, I don't know, Christina. <laughs> I don't know why. I was like, we just TMI, met these- but I got a Brazilian wife. Oh, because we were talking about how we were feeling like energized to record. Yeah, we were like, yeah, we're feeling so good. And she was like with these. This I was guy like, yeah, just I just met. got my pussy wax feeling real good. This 33 year old man. He's like, oh, <laughs> like. I need to let him know. Yeah, let him know. <laughs> let him know. Let him know. Uh, Anyways, <laughs> so, so my to- toxic thing of the week basically is that I got a Brazilian wax for the first time in like three years today. I've never so, gotten waxed. I don't really. Think no. <laughs> I feel like I'm you're so you're, scared. How is your hair down there? Is it like it's not as bad thick? as no? It's thin. It's easy. It's you like would probably zoom right through it. And like, how thin. often do you shave down there? Frequently. How's frequent? Like what's fre- frequent? Three, every two three days. Okay. You know, obviously some days I go five days, but then like somewhere. do you get like razor bumps or anything? No. Okay, then like yeah, yeah. it's probably not really. Like, no, I just don't really have you. to. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But 
basically i've got the asshole shaving down as well oh oh, so. oh i got the whole shaving down yeah. but now yeah. i'm back into my waxing era yeah. so i i make jokes on the show all the time about how i get that fucking thick italian dark hair i get like so black it's so funny dark, when you say that because yeah. you're such like a petite little cute girl yeah and you're like i got I an bush. italian bush <laughs> like you know a big old black bush like mm-hmm. yeah so <laughs> So even the girl pointed out today when she was like no, plucking the hairs out say? after, she was like, yeah, you have a few stragglers, but I definitely want to get them out because they're really thick and they're really black. So they're noticeable. Oh, thank and she's you, like, Let me get them out. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me that I'm a gorilla. Yeah. <laughs> but whatever. Anyways. So yeah, I haven't gotten waxed in three years because I used to get waxed all the time. Uh, back in like 2019 beginning of 2020 when I was with my boyfriend at that time and I was doing a lot of vacationing and it was just like nice to get waxed uh so I got really used to it back in the day um but then the pandemic hit I got out of my relationship fell out of the waxing because of that so I was like all right I don't gotta do this shit Mm -hmm. anymore because I'm single it's a pandemic whatever um anyways though as I said, I am going to Italy in two days and I'm going to be on the beach majority of the time. And I just don't want to deal with the wax. Uh, with the wax. Is it going to be like I don't want to deal with the shaving. Is it hot right now? Yeah. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. Southern. Yeah. Yeah. Is. It's pretty hot. So I just don't want to deal <laughs> with the, the shaving. <laughs> and yeah, I think some of the days it said it might be a little bit colder. Well, and I, when rainy, my friends but, go on trips, I don't know what this says about me and I don't care. I put the place that they're in in my weather app. Oh, I do that too. <laughs> I'm like oh, I, I do Christina, that with oh Christina's gonna I've done today. that with like any boyfriend I've had <laughs> I do it which with is you. so <laughs> random but I'm like what's the weather yeah so I don't know but anyways what is it saying did you pull it up a little bit of rain Christina but I know it's gonna be okay I know but we're like I don't know let me see it'll be fine there's other panel. things to do other than lay on the beach there so yeah exactly yeah there's a little bit of rain it says you know what though the thing that's like it said that like this it said this type of weather last year yeah, it, it's and then we changing. got there and it was so fucking hot like right. it would say it was 70 out and it would feel like 80 i don't yeah. know i think like the sun the in sun italy just hits, hits different. different yeah anyways though but i just like didn't want to bother with shaving because i have to shave like every like two to three days and the hair grows back so dark so thick and when i try to shave over it i get so many razor bumps and like it's just not sightly so I was like, I'm going to start waxing again. But um, when I used to get waxed, I used to go to European Wax Center. And I felt like they never did like that good of a job. They like got the job done. But like it wasn't anything like I want to be crazy. Yeah. I like, want to be bald as fuck. Bald I want kitty. to get every last hair. So. Well, so if you get waxed, though, like when would be the next time you'd have to shave? Like a I know it lasts You're longer. not supposed to shave in between because then it essentially just restarts the process because you're shaving. When you shave, the hair follicle becomes like a blunt edge. Mm. And then when it grows out again, you just like, you restart okay. the process. I see. So you're not, so my next wax appointment is on June 20th. Mm. because that's like when I will be due next. Will you not have like a fucking bush by then? Like No, because like when you get that first wax, wow. it lasts a while because they get the fucking hair follicle. So it rips it out. Maybe I'll give it a try. Yeah. <laughs> so like the first two weeks, you're still pretty much bald. Third and fourth week that you start prickly. going into, you yeah. start growing a little bit here and there. It's not even really prickly. It's like little hairs mm. grow back here and there. So, but anyways... <laughs> Great. <laughs> Point is that I want to be bald. And so I was like, I cannot do this European wax shit anymore. I'm going to find like a nice small business in Williamsburg and I'm going to go there. And so I found this place called uh, Williamsburg Facials and Wax. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, it's called that. It's on Grand Street. And I go and it's the most lovely older woman. She's like Russian or Ukrainian or something. She has like that sort of accent. Perfect. I trust you already. Yeah. (laughs) I like those ladies know what the fuck they're doing. They get it done. Like they always know what they're doing. My Eastern European women slay. Yeah. Quite literally pussy slay. (laughs) Yeah. So oh look Kieran just sent this photo of us. He goes this is cute. (laughs) I know, right? We had uh, Karen Murray, Karen Knightley, one of the paparazzi boys on the show. Uh, you guys will see that next week. Oh, it's so good. You'll love it. Yeah, it's so good. Anyways, mm. though, so I, I'm i already starting to trust this woman with my life. Um, And so I walk in and I tell her I'm going on vacation, whatever. I need everything out. This bitch, like, she was, every time she would wax, she would show me the strip. 
she would be like she waxed and she'd be like no pain no pain no pain i'm like no no pain i'm dying but no pain yeah she showed me the strip and she'd be like look at that she's like do you see the white on the ends of it that's the hair follicle i got the follicle out for you oh she's God. like that's not growing back oh i was God. like yeah. yeah and so Ball, she bitch. was amazing but she was just getting every last thing she was doing some insane ass labia like Angle. strips on me yeah how long does this take uh 15 minutes okay that's nice. yeah and so then also when she was done she like and and what was the pain level i mean if your first time is usually pretty painful uh, because you're just getting the file follicle no, out after that it's easier it. but yeah i mean it like it's one of those things like i mean Suck i also have my nipples pierced so like whatever i yeah. feel like i am invincible now yeah. but anyways but this woman was just so precise and she was even using a tweezer to get all the little extra hairs out and then usually at european wax when they do the butt strip they tell you to just like put your knees to your chest no this woman goes turn on your side Mm -hmm. and spread your cheeks spread spread it like she she literally she took my hand she put it on my butt she was like move it she literally said she was like putting the wax on and she was like all right she's like i got everything she literally used the word anus at one point she was like i'm getting every last hair she goes i'm going right over your anus is what she said like i just like wax right on my fucking hole like i don't got hair there but it was if there was hair there it's gone See, now I, when i even get a spray tan naked i'm deeply uncomfortable so yeah. i don't know oh i'm gonna be butt ass naked for my spray tan tomorrow too. i mean i do it every i, I like, I'm not going to have a line. The thing that I always think about is I'm like, these people do this for a living. Yeah, they don't no. Give a fuck. Right. Like, they don't. You know, I just still hate my life every second. Oh, of no, it. I know. It's still like, I like run after a spray tan. I like get myself, I like keep my head down when I'm, I'm like, okay, bye. Like, yeah, I know. I'm like, I gotta go home now. Like, but yeah, uh, no. So, anyways, this woman gave me the most like precise like brazilian i have ever gotten and so i did rebook with her and i will be going back to and her she kind of showed and me like she came out in a thong earlier and was like look at my pussy i was, I was like look at my gorgeous pussy it's like still so red and like uh irritated um but it'll go away by tomorrow <laughs> i was like hey. i wanted to get it i was gonna get it done tomorrow but you can't get it done you know you gotta get it done at least 24 hours before spray tan because you don't want to spray tan over the irritation right and like there's also oils you planned this all to a t and oh i planned everything i was precise i was like got my nails and toes done today but yeah so my toxic thing is just my absolutely incredible brazilian wax that i got done i have not a single hair left it's on my vagina christina it's what you deserve it is what i deserve i walked out i called my mom i said i just got a brazilian wax i feel fucking liberated my mom was like oh i can never do that the pain is too much i don't know how you do that i'm like mom i I literally got this dark, thick ass Italian hair from your side of the family. Yeah, so, thank you for this. Thank you. Thank what you for is, my pussy hair, what's Ma. What's your dad, Irish? Irish. Ah, uh, right. I get my you, hair. You didn't get any of that. You can't even fucking. I got my nose. I got my nose from my dad. Slay. I got my nose, and also in the sun, I get freckles. I get a lot of freckles in the sun. Cute. But so I get that. Me uh, too. <laughs> but I definitely. <laughs> wow. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> didn't know. Uh, yeah, no. So my hair, though on my head and actually no I well I get the color of my hair from my mom but my hair texture the curliness is from my dad ah okay yeah but I get my hair color from my mom because my dad's a ginger and the rest like of his family is like in between blondes and brunettes so it's kind of like I see I just got the brunette gene right but yeah my hair is from my dad on my head my hair is from my dad my body hair is definitely from my mom my boobs don't know <laughs> question mark because no Debbie's idea. got the honkers Debbie's got honkers all of her sisters do all of my cousins do my aunts on my dad's side boobs my cousins on my dad's side boobs I don't know where I went wrong I uh, know where I, think I went right I that's what I was gonna say where I went right it just like depends on how we're looking at little it. itty bitty yitties I love them I love an itty bitty yitty yeah so swiftly moving on um <laughs> GNT. Wow, that was cool. Yeah, we um, have just one little itty bitty thing for GNT. Our pop um, culture segment. Yes. I so I tweeted on Twitter, unless I haven't checked the tweet in a while, but I tweeted on Twitter and I asked you guys what is going on in pop culture. And the only thing that people replied to us with is um Taylor Swift and Maddie Healy, which we did talk about in the episode with Kieran that's coming out. 
So, like, nobody... Which, like, there's not even that much to, like, talk about there. Yeah, there's not much to talk about. But, like, yeah, there's, like... Like, everyone was just, like, oh, like, Taylor and Matt. But we already talked about that. There's not much to talk about there. Anyways, the one thing that did happen, I believe, last week is the Ed Sheeran trial. Did, were you keeping up on this? Yeah, a bit. I mean, I, like, heard it was coming up, and then I listened to the speech that he gave after, and it was it was good. I yeah. mean, the whole thing was just a bit ridiculous. Oh, so. no, it was, oh, no, it was so stupid. And he yeah. won, obviously. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, so, basically, um, Ed Sheeran was accused of copying Marvin Gaye's song, Let's Get It On, and his song, Thinking Out Loud. I'm sure you guys have heard both, both songs are fucking notorious. Yeah. Um, he testified that him and a collaborator had written Thinking Out Loud based on their own experiences, and he even started playing his guitar in the courtroom to illustrate the songwriting behind it. Right. And then the family of Ed Townsend, who co-wrote Let's Get It On, used the argument that Ed Sheeran remixed the two songs together at a live show one time and like tried to use that as like his defense. But Ed Sheeran was like, I do that with many songs he yeah. remixes thinking out loud with so many songs during his live mm-hmm. shows that's like not a real argument also Anyways. when chord progression like i play guitar and i know that when chord progressions like uh, chords like you know there's a chord progression of a song but like 50 billion songs use the same chords. yeah well like, that's, there's only so many chords yeah to that's use. literally exactly what he said uh, like, yeah. the statement i have he said these chords are common building blocks which were used to create music long before Let's Get It On was written and will be used to create music mm-hmm. long after we're gone. So exactly to your point, like it's just what the chords were. Right. Um, but yeah, anyways, he won the trial, Peace is Restored, and he also did like a surprise mini performance on top I of a know. car in New York City. You see the footage from that? I know. I would have loved. I mean, can you imagine? It was in Soho. And yeah. He got on top of a car and just started playing a song and like a huge crowd came around. I would have freaked out if yeah i, that. I know been, like ed sheeran that would have been so an acoustic set that would have been sick know, so yeah so he won who sorry Bionning. um yeah in my opinion i think the he was like was real pissed about that though well yeah yeah i mean like i would, I would be, be too, too but he was like usually ed sheeran's a really calm cool collected guy but he was really mad because afterwards he came outside and did like a bit of a speech and was like he was like, all the people that had to be here, what a waste of time. He was like, I had to fly to a different country. I could be with my kid right now. Yeah. Like, well, did you also hear that he had to miss, I think it was his grandmother's funeral? Yes. That's what he said. Yep. And I couldn't, I was like, fucking yeah. hell. In Ireland. Yeah. He. Yeah, I did see that. I mean, it's just like so shitty. Yeah. Because you can't, like, when, when you get a trial date, that's it. You can't yeah. change it. So... I mean, it's that is a headache. Absurd. So, yeah. So that's like the only real thing that we have for GNT. But yeah, there was no I feel like there's nothing really going on this week in no. terms of like pop culture. No, not really. Stuff. Oh, uh, it- the Renaissance tour started. Did you see videos from it? Beyonce's no, tour? I didn't. You know what's funny is it's not like blowing up on I TikTok haven't heard as any- much as Yeah, you I haven't heard think. anybody talking about it. Jeff, I know that that was starting soon. But me and me and Dakota kikied about it today, uh, a friend of ours. And um you know, Jeff was kind of complaining about it and was saying like it wasn't giving what needed to be gave kind of really? thing. But, you know, I like it a lot. It's not like the, my You favorite. saw the clips? Yes. Like okay. I was watching. Uh, she opened it in Stockholm, which was random. But um, I think there's probably a reason for that. But there's a, uh, you know, it's not really like my aesthetic. Like I'm more of like an Ariana Grande, Taylor Swift, like girly. Like, yeah. I love that kind of vibe and whatever. Like it was very like. I don't even know how to it was kind of like futuristic vibes and like really weird outfits and I mean there were huh. parts of it that were really cool that like I, I mean I liked it I, I just didn't like it wasn't like speaking to me like yeah. I, I was originally really sad I didn't get tickets I couldn't get tickets but now I'm like eh, I'm really way happier that I'm going to the Eras tour oh than- yeah I'm trying to look on Twitter to see if there's any like oh, like the outfits. looks were cool but yeah. they were like kind of random and like not cohesive at all um and you know it's a two and a half hour set 40 songs like it's a it's a great show and like you know it's probably unbelievable why but have i like i'm seeing all these now i have not seen any right? of these right it's so weird Yeah, because it's not really like taking all i mean it's a little weird because when the eras tour opened i mean everyone saw that whether is you jeff were... going isn't he no he? no uh kike oh kike is yeah going. yeah i was like somebody i know is going. you know like it's a black you know that song cozy yeah like at the end of cozy like people come up behind her with a bed and they like wrap her in it like there's a lot of really cool like moments and like effects and props but overall like the colors and like everything aren't really like appealing it's a lot of like yeah. chrome and like futuristic vibes and i'm like it's just not really speaking to me but yeah 
All right. So we are we're talking about being the it girl today. Healthy girl habits. What's that song? It was like a TikTok song. It's like, oh, it's Meg Thee Stallion. She's like, I'm, I'm the shit girl. You know that? Oh, I'm the it girl. Yeah. Cue that song right now. Period. Fuck. I don't know which one that is. Oh, that's a that's um. The one with the piano. Oh, is that, I think it's literally it's Meg's called, piano. It's called Meg's piano. Yeah, it's literally called Play Meg's piano. Play that song right now. Get your head in the right space because we're talking about how to be the it girl. Yes, yeah, so we're talking about how mm. to be the it girl. Um, me and Lily have been going through this era of trying to Weird. heal. We've been in be, a funk. Yeah, we've been in a funk. I did get laid now, off, so, <laughs> so that'll do yeah. it. <laughs> and for me, transparently, which is funny because it was like we had a few episode options for today of things that we were going to talk about. One of the things that we were going to make a whole episode about, uh, but we could kind of tie into this right now that I didn't write on here, is boyfriend air. Mm. And I feel like yeah. this applies to this episode only because I feel like I was going through a funk because I was like starting to like not really feel like super like sexy or like good with myself. I think because I was just starting to like let go a little bit because I'm just like so comfortable in my relationship and then I started to realize it like it's as like ironic that that happens. It's yeah. Like the, the healthier and happier you are in a relationship the more you kind of like don't feel yourself anymore. yeah right it's weird and it's like it has nothing to do with my boyfriend like he no like tells not me at beautiful all every not, day no it has nothing so it's to do. like yeah but I don't know so I have been like struggling with this because I'm like I need to get back to just like me doing things right. that I love and feeling good like and I haven't put on my slutty dress in a minute right I need the whore the whore closet yeah like you know what where's I need like a sexy little photo shoot I need no to whip reason. out my uh 23rd birthday dress yeah you do I do and we just need to take some digital cam pics in it like right hot girls and just like, feel good yeah but yeah so basically Long story short, like sometimes you could get into like a little rut in your life, or maybe you're just realizing you're realizing. Okay, Hello? maybe you're feeling, <laughs> realizing, whatever that you're just not really on your healthy girl shit. And I'm not talking about like we're not talking about healthy girl shit. Like it could mean like oh, eat better work and out. like you know work out whatever all it is that, that makes stuff. you feel. Healthy. Yeah, it's more about just like. You know, healthy girl habits as in habits that will just improve your personal quality of life, mm -hmm. whether that's, you know, reading or actually working out or, yeah. you know, or things like, like everyone that. has like their like little hobbies. And I feel yeah. like you kind of when you get in a serious relationship, like a lot of your free time, it's either like with your friends or with your boyfriend. And yeah. You kind of stop having that like alone time that where you time. would pick up that if you play guitar or if you have like a little hobby that you do, like you kind of lose that a little bit. Yeah. I started, I, the other day, the one thing that clicked for me is I was like, my boyfriend was in bed and like, I was like going to get into bed with him. And I realized for like the past few months, I've been like speeding through my skincare routine. Sometimes like skipping steps at mm. night just to like get my skincare done just so I could crawl into bed with him. Mm -hmm. And then the other night I was like, I feel that. I was like realizing I like washed my face. I went to go do my skincare and I was like, I, I, I why am I rushing? He's That's not how I going feel about anywhere. When I'm doing my makeup when I'm going out with yeah. my boyfriend, you know, I'm like, like, why am I rushing? Like, he's not going anywhere. He's literally like laying in bed waiting for me. Like I can take my time, like mm -hmm. doing my skincare. Also, and skincare, I enjoy it. it's like, yeah, and I enjoy it. It's my thing. It keeps me feeling like glowy and like nice. whatever. So that was like kind of like my thing and then uh also with like the weather getting better i just like want to like do more for i would like me. to pop my pussy yeah quite frankly so <laughs> you like you know i started like thinking back to like okay what were like habits that i was doing before i was in my relationship that like i need to implement now that like i stopped for whatever reason mm -hmm. you know so anyways yeah sometimes you just need to like get back on track so we jotted down some quote-unquote healthy girl habits and we're just gonna like kiki about it for a bit this is a very chill episode we're just gonna talk to you guys some habits maybe you guys want to do things that yeah. make us feel good and then also i posted on instagram i actually didn't even check the question box yet but uh i posted on instagram and we oh, asked yeah. you guys like we'll run through that at the end for sure yeah so Anyways, getting started. Uh, the first thing on this list is going on a daily walk. We know I the hot girl feel, walk. Yeah. The hot girl walk is such a real thing. Even if it's like a 10 minute walk, like I feel so much better about myself if I even just like walk 10 minutes to go get a coffee and walk right back. Like it right. doesn't even have to be some like long thing. No, no, it doesn't. No, yeah. I completely agree. A walk does wonders for the mental health. 
Yeah. Um, and then also in addition, I wrote like for myself going to coffee shops. Mm-hmm. Even like, if you're going to like sit down and read in your apartment instead of doing that, go to a coffee shop and read. Yeah. Like yeah. just get out a little bit, yeah, you know, yeah. like be around On people. Own, even if though. you're not like, yeah, yeah. Even if you're not alone. like talking to people, just like go mm-hmm. alone, sit at a coffee shop or sit at a park, like something, sip your coffee, like just be with yourself right we were just talking about with Kieran on the show like taking yourself out on dates too. yeah it's so like go sit at the bar and eat a, some pasta like, yeah <laughs> like yeah. go do it on your own and like feel like you're treating yourself and taking yourself out yeah um self-care things like self-care waxes hair done tanning get your nails done Whatever, get a like, massage your thing is. like, like well, yeah, yeah that makes you feel exactly really give yourself an at-home facial like take a, a little blowout. extra time in the shower yeah. like you know things like that like when I take a long shower and I really take my time like scrubbing my hair and like exfoliating like that makes me feel supreme oh my long showers are my life my roommate always makes fun of me because I literally take more showers than anyone in the whole world yeah that's <laughs> where we relate we've discussed this before yeah. we both we be showering I be showering I like, like ever also ever since I got my own place two showers a day I don't give a fuck yeah why not right I don't take like super long like I mean the everything shower yes yeah but like on a day-to-day basis yeah. I don't even take like a super long shower but like I just love the ritual of wake up take a shower to wake up conquer the day come back from a long day take a shower go to bed yeah no it's Dang. amazing yeah I agree um reading which this is Ugh, depends this is I'm I've I go through such phases. I go through phases. Uh, I feel like naturally you feel better about yourself when you read because you feel better than everybody else that you are reading and they're not. And it's like, you know, when you have 20 minutes spare time instead of scrolling through TikTok. Yeah. Why not read? Yeah. Which better for literally speaking of that, I actually wrote this on here more down. But speaking of like TikTok and stuff, put your phone down. I know. Putting your phone down and actually like, I don't care what you do. Like if you're like cleaning up your apartment, you read your book, you're even when you're doing like I have like such a bad habit of like right when I get out of the shower, I check my phone or while I'm in the middle of doing my skincare or brushing my Mm -hmm. teeth, check my phone. Like if you just, yeah, if you just stepped out of the shower, like you could take a fucking set. Right. You know? I know. Sometimes um, I actually, when I'm taking, like, doing one of my everything showers, I leave my phone, like, in my room. Yeah. Yeah. I've and been trying I to do that more recently, get out, too. Moisturize, do my skincare, like, brush yeah. my teeth, like, the whole thing. And then I. Yeah. And then phone. you check 100%. Uh, and then also, this is like, you know, having you time. Like, but I'm talking, like, dedicated, aside from, like, just those things, like, make sure you take 30 minutes even it could be longer it Mm -hmm. could be shorter but just take like a set amount of time at the end of each day to just like really decompress I even find joy in taking my 30 minutes to myself at the end of the day at the end of the day like making myself a liquid IV and sitting on my couch and just like chilling yeah no it's nice it's completely necessary I will say Liquid IV also, not to plug. I did do a sponsor for them on Instagram recently. <laughs> this is recently. not sponsored though. Oh no, here's the no, thing. No, it is I, great. I ran out of my bag of Liquid IV. I literally bought more last night, like They're at Walgreens. Because so I was like, I can't live without it now. They're so good and I feel so much better about myself when I have them. And Anyways. it's like, sometimes you get like overly caffeinated throughout the day. And by 3 p.m. you don't want to be drinking caffeine. Yeah. You just want to be able to sleep. So like Liquid IV is like really. Yeah, good. definitely. Um meditation or this could just be like or in general yoga like just, or something that, yeah yeah it gets you in that state of something mind. to like chill the mind uh and then also like we we're talking about healthy girl habits uh eating right or aside from eating right like you know you don't have to be like dieting and stuff this no. is like not that eating something that you really love that fills your soul like yeah. food that fills the soul like yeah i sometimes like gets you excited yeah. yeah it doesn't have to always you shouldn't be eating like shit 24 7 but like girl if you want to have that chick-fil-a it's gonna make your day having the chick-fil-a yeah eat the fucking chick-fil-a yeah like, for sure you know i'm my, oh my god my diet is so bad dude my <laughs> diet has been so bad but this week i've been such a stickler about it because i'm leaving for italy i'm like i want to see snatch yeah so, like when i, I like a little kava like pita today you know, kava's so good though kava is i think my favorite like fast casual chain in what's the city the, what's the place that's like chipotle but it starts with the q kidova you know what i'm talking about it's like chipotle it's it's literally chipotle but it's it's a different place and it starts with the q but it's like I don't know. It's called Kidova, I think. I don't know. I had it last night. I don't night. think it I've ever really had good. that. But when I when I am trying to eat healthy, though, I find my good balance. Because I have such a sweet tooth. Like, I can oh, eat. Oh, me too. Like, I love, like, 
healthy meals and salads and like I love that yeah. food. I'll eat three healthy meals like avocado toast in the morning, a salad for lunch, like three healthy meals. Yeah. But then to balance it out, I'll have like something sweet. Yeah. At night. Like, I, you know, you have to live a little. Oh, bitch. yeah. <laughs> you know what I've been eating that like I love that's just been like filling my soul at night. I got the not the Ben and Jerry's half baked ice cream, mm. but they sell the half baked ice uh, brownie bits and cookie dough bits just like in a bag it's literally a bag I'm of edible sorry. cookie dough and brownie bites yeah i'll let you try them when you we finish recording yeah you will yeah yeah they're delicious though and they're so wow. good to snack on their addictive dough fiend, so also the trader joe's they actually found out recently that they're pretty healthy for you the trader joe's um those like rolled corn uh the chili lime chips oh, that, like, I i'm obsessed tried those what i think Wait, the ones that are like long? Yeah, oh, wait, they're like red. Actually. No, I have tried them. Oh my God, they're <laughs> my favorite. No, so I will good. never leave Trader Joe's without buying a new bag of yeah. them. They're my favorite. They're so good. Anyways, <laughs> this one I makes me sane. Scheduling your day. Yeah, you love this shit. I love this shit. Even if it doesn't apply to work. Like I schedule yeah, my day even, even if, if I just have like, yeah, yeah. It just makes me feel so productive. Also writing it down on paper makes me feel productive because then I can like go about the day and physically cross things off. Yeah. I am such a planner and a scheduler and it could just be like a loose thing. Like, okay, I'm going to get these things done today. Like, you know. I no, like that's so true. Like yawn or burp or <laughs> hello. Oh my god. Anyways, also uh, the, yeah. Oh, get ready every morning. I was gonna say something about like your sleep schedule because yeah, like I've been obviously like um I got laid off in January, so I've been unemployed slash freelancing. So like my sleep schedule is so all over the place, mm-hmm. and it's so bad. Like the days I wake up at like eleven, I'm like fuck oh, me. Yeah. I just get so I wake up like annoyed that I even slept in. Like I'm just yeah. starting off the day like disappointed in myself. My <laughs> like I don't think you like have to wake up. Like there's like those people that like promote like you know wake up at like 6 a.m no start your day right like i think once you find your sweet spot with waking up i do think waking up a little bit earlier than what you normally do is good but like i found that my sweet spot is 9 a.m yeah it like i feel great and productive and wonderful if i'm up by 9 a.m yeah because i between 9 and 12 i usually take the day like i don't really start working till like 12 ish but like obviously i work for myself but like if i'm up by nine wake up at nine i have break breakfast breakfast (laughs) Breakfast. i get my breakfast (laughs) i have breakfast i shower i get ready and like i'm ready like for the day around like 11 or 12 which is like nice and i get to like really take my time and it makes me feel so much better yeah you know yeah and then also like with getting ready yeah the other thing i wrote on here is getting ready every morning (laughs) this is like like you don't have to put on a full face of makeup every day but even like a little thing like i feel so much better about myself when i put a little mascara on go about the day yeah like, even that and then also on here i'm actually very guilty of this uh changing your outfit <laughs> from like just sweatpants or your pajamas <sighs> into know. something nicer there's such like you know it's such like a habit like when you're chilling around like your apartment and everything you want to like just stay in your pajamas you will feel so much better about yourself if you put something better on it doesn't even have to be like like a whole shebang of an outfit but even like a no, matching no. set yeah or like a like, matching athleisure set or a matching hoodie and sweatpants yeah like, as so long you as you're like put together. comfortable i think yeah. it's also like a, a great thing if you're like while you're shopping and stuff is working on getting some like elevated basics yeah like i have this pair of baggy jeans that legit feel like sweatpants they are so comfortable and i throw those on every morning with like a little baby t-shirt yeah like and I just feel put together and you cute. know what I saw this girl I think it was on TikTok this girl was saying she's like one thing that I have started doing uh like every day that just makes me feel so much better about myself even if I'm working from home is putting on a maxi dress maxi dresses are, are so comfortable. one of the easiest things to just throw on it's one piece it's so comfortable mm-hmm. like a little flowy maxi dress or even like a nice stretchy cotton one just to like yeah do your shit I like know. I love well I love dresses and I'm a huge skirt I have a hundred skirts like I, I love am a dress and dresses girl. yeah because they're so fucking comfortable yeah. like they're the best mm-hmm. yeah really? so I'm like a nice little dress but yeah something like other than your pajamas yeah even if you're working from home right um get your finances in check this doesn't mean like the like you fucking count me? your money <laughs> No, I don't mean it like that. I mean, I was like uh, reading an article about like healthy girl habits earlier. And that's like what kind of like when I was getting episode ideas sparked this. 
And one thing that they wrote down is that you do feel so much better yeah. when you just have everything in line. Not necessarily having to pay it off right away if unless that's like just if it's doable. Where you're at, like, just knowing yeah, a little, yeah. Exactly. My like, roommate's really good about motivating me because I just I don't know, I've always been not a spender, but like mm-hmm. you know, I'm not gonna like miss out on something or like not get the food I want because of the Price, yeah but like my roommate's really good at reeling me in a little bit like yeah she's much better at budgeting than i am uh-huh oh my god i'm like the worst at it and my boyfriend does not help because he orders uber eats like four times a day oh my god. and it's bad but anyways <laughs> but um drink water before coffee i also mm-hmm. okay i've been doing this recently and i have seen a difference which is like interesting I saw people saying that, like, do not drink your coffee with your breakfast. Have your breakfast. Drink yes. water with it. Drink your coffee yeah. after. You will feel way more energized And you the day. kind of enjoy. I love coffee so much. And I feel like once you. You could tell, like, enjoy the ritual. Yeah. And, like, I feel like if, let's say you wake up at 8. If you drink that coffee at 10, you're actually going to enjoy it more. Because you're yeah. not as, like, sleepy and out of and it. Grouchy you're, like, and... really going to enjoy it. Yeah. So, exactly. I, I like doing that. Yeah. So, I've been doing that more. And I have felt more energized and better through the day. Um, and then new outfit, new outfit, new lingerie, something like if you're just really, I mean, this is obviously if you want to spend a little money on yourself, obviously this is not like, you know, not everybody could just like walk into a store and buy a brand new outfit. But sometimes when you buy a new little outfit, you'd be feeling real good about yourself. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. And then you brought this up before the creativity thing. Yeah. Well, I thought of it because like, I'm just one of those people that. I know Hannah used to make fun of me all the time for this. I have so many weird hobbies. Like, I really okay. have so many weird, if you think about it. Like, That's fine, though. They're yours. No, I love that about myself. I really do. But I do lose touch with them because I almost have too many. Yeah. But, like, you know, I play, like, three instruments. and like, would do all these random things and, like, you know, fashion and all these, like, thrifting and all these random things. But, like... I've noticed when I this is really a good episode for people in serious relationships like seriously this episode yeah is really catering to girls that are in like long term yeah like to get yourself like or if you're just in a funk but yeah. like if you're in a long term relationship you do kind of like you know not you don't do those little like side things that you do as much but I have found um I, ha- I realized like a month or two ago that I haven't like picked up a new hobby in like a really long time like yeah. I've just been like you know, playing guitar when I'm bored and like doing things that I've done for years. And I realized I was like, oh, I haven't picked up like a new hobby in a long time that I can just like do when I'm alone. And Work Bay has been, um, he bought like a DJ controller a while ago and he's been getting like really good at it. And I was kind of getting like almost jealous, like watching him like just really yeah. like lot like I would just be sitting there on my phone like scrolling on TikTok like or watching something, something he loves yeah and yeah. he's sitting there for like three hours not his phone would be on the other side of the room like just locked in enjoying himself whatever so then one day he left for work or something and I like YouTube like you know how do I even turn this thing on yeah and then I started I'm like you know I'm still ass but like I've been practicing DJing and like not that I even yeah. want to be a DJ but it's just like a fun for fun like, yeah it up, like just like a new hobby like I think that's just like a cool thing to do or like you know if you've always wanted to get more into like a certain type of workout like boxing or biking or something like that like it's just a fun thing oh, yeah. to do and it makes I used feel to be good. like very into boxing, boxing yeah and I've been trying to like get, get back, back into it by like doing rumble and stuff because yeah. that was like my thing like right before the pandemic I feel like I you know what I feel like I had so many hobbies that like I lost during the pandemic I, I know that's so that's and then I, I just like forgot picking them up again to pick them like up a, yeah. yeah I know me and my roommate were talking about that but it's it really made me feel like I've like only been doing it for like three weeks but like now when I'm alone in my apartment like I really I kind of have something to do and it's yeah. like nice and I like look forward to doing it because it's something new and it's not like the same thing I've been doing like I get bored of playing guitar like it gets boring like yeah. I do it all the time when I'm alone so it's fun like that I have something new so have you ever seen that like viral a clip of those like male podcasters saying that like girls don't have hobbies I, that like really irked me like it was just like because I was like, I just like, arguably, remember that I feel like girls have way more hobbies than guys yeah way more I mean think about it. even I girls think that, that just like, love guys, taking pictures and stuff yeah like, I feel like guys though like they do not count that shit as hobbies like I count like shopping as a hobby oh like, I, I mean, like to fucking go shopping like that's my like thing that brings me joy like, like I love um like 
yeah, fashion, just like loving yeah. fashion or thrifting. Like that's totally a hobby. Yeah. It takes hours. Like exactly. Like that. I mean, that clip went viral like so long ago. It's from one of those fucking misogynistic yeah. ass male podcasts. And all the comments were like, the irony is that girls have way more hobbies. Yeah. Than that. Like a lot of girls crochet or they yeah. like you know like all makeup like whatever like that's totally a hobby. Yeah. <laughs> like what are you talking about? Like. I know that was so funny. I know. I got more hobbies than I know what to fucking do with. Like, yeah, you're I, like I don't even got time I, for my no, hobbies. Seriously. Oh my god. Yeah. I mean, that's like do you have any more off the top of your head? That's like it like from my end. Well, we have some that we'll like go through on tw- uh not Twitter, sorry, uh Instagram for you guys. I mean, but not like really. You know what's like okay, I always feel way better about my sp- myself when I have a clean space. So oh, like God. I, I love know. to like make sure my space is clean, even if it's like the immediate area that I am working in. I will feel way more productive if I clean my space and it'll just make me have like a better mentality. And I know I'm like I'm a clean person like my I'm very anal about like have the bathroom being deep clean. Like yeah, that type me of too. Clean. But I, I'm very messy when it comes to just like. My dresser just has shit all over yeah. it. Like, jewelry and shirts. And oh my God, I, know, I, need to, I do like, need to be better about that. I'm definitely, I'm a stickler about my living room and like kitchen and that yeah. sort of stuff too. My sink is my always clean. My bedroom, <laughs> I like, I always try to keep my bedroom pretty neat. But like, I feel like the bedroom is just so easy in terms of like, it could just get like messy uh-huh. and you're not like as keeping up. I mean, literally my bed right now. Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's tough. If you guys see my bed, it's just like I have shit all over it's it. Like, like, and then when you go to bed, you just kind of want to shove, shove it, it all over there. Like, the I don't want to put this all away right now. But then it's like, yeah. oh, I'm busy tomorrow and the next day. Like, yeah. what am I going to fucking do it? But it, it does like make a huge difference. I bedroom is the hardest to keep room clean. to keep clean. Yeah. Like, I my kitchen will always be clean. But yeah. like, oh my God, my bedroom is a nightmare. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm so bad for that. But I do feel like overall the past few months, I know Christina's kind of been in the same space. I've just been in such a funk. Yeah. And especially because I've just been not really I think we've doing brought this much. up before too on this like show. Yeah, that we've just been like yeah. a bit of a That's why weird... I'm, I'm just like so excited to like go away in two days. Yeah, I'm just, it like, does get you in a different headspace. It does. Like sometimes when you go away, you just like need like to flip the fucking switch in yeah. you and just kind of get back to you. Yeah. And like it'll be nice too because like I told you, I'm like, editing the like the two episodes that are coming out while we're gone I'm editing them fully and pre-uploading them and everything so even when I'm there like I'll have like a true like time off yeah and I'm just like I need to like get out of this funk I feel like no, it's nice also self-care spend time with your fucking girlfriends yeah oh 100 percent. like I feel like sp- I feel so like fulfilled when I spend like a really good time so with my girlfriends like even if it's just like like I'm like such a cocktail par cocktail bar person now you know this like I love just going to a cocktail bar and just having a little kiki yeah like that's just like my thing like, no I know it's the I best. love it I just I mean, feel great your friends always make you feel like the most fulfilled. yeah like the other day when I was just feeling like a little like shitty whatever had a long day needed a drink I called Jeff Jeff is one of the girls um mm-hmm. and I, obviously, obviously. Mm-hmm. and I called him and we literally just had like two drinks at Seaport I got some ice cream at Van Leeuwen and then I went home and I was feeling a one yeah like I know I I know what's today like Wednesday no, it's Friday. Today's today. Friday. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know like so last week, I think it was Tuesday night. Um, I had a really tough I don't even remember I just had a bad day because yeah. I've just been getting to the point where I'm getting so defeated with the job hunt you know how it goes <sighs> yeah and Tuesday night I just had a really bad like mental health moment I kind of had like a breakdown honestly with work bay um, and I was just like I'm so unhappy right now I feel so unmotivated like I, I'm at a loss I don't even know what to do like I yeah. reached out to everyone I could about like work things whatever and I was just like being really negative and I was just like a really like I was crying it was a bad night I wake up Wednesday morning to a text um from the stylist who asked me to do like a seven-day job and it started the next day and so I just kind of got thrown into it and it was every day waking up at 6 a.m full days blah 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 but it was a great job and it kind of just like I just got out of that headspace just yeah. because I was thrown into doing what I love again and being around other creative people and it was just like I had reached out to her to like get work and whatever. And she finally reached back to me with a job. But I think sometimes you just have to be like, 
you know, have a bad day and the next day be like, take action, do something about it, yeah. get out of the house. Throw yourself into throw it. Throw yourself into something, even if it's not a job that you would typically do or some like people that you would typically hang out with. Just like throw yourself into something because it's better than sitting in your room in that yeah. headspace. I was so grateful that I, it's it was always, perfect timing. It's always better to do something than to do nothing. Yeah. And I struggle with that so much because I'm a yeah. perfectionist. So like I have, I yeah. talk to my life coach about this almost every week that like, I'm like, if I can't do it perfectly, I will not do it at all. And I've been like, I need to get out of that. And I've been struggling with that. But that is the one thing that I've been yeah. working on is just like, you will feel so much better about yourself if you just yeah. do something. Yeah. Even if it could be the tiniest little yeah. thing. I like, like, I even feel productive when I just take a good photo to post. Yeah. Like, you know, I mean, it sounds stupid, but we do social media. So yeah. I feel, and like lately, me and my roommate have been actively trying to take more. And I don't like them every time, but at least I'm like trying to yeah. take them, you know? So the other day, I was like, I was like feeling so down, like didn't want to do anything. And I was like, but I know if I do something on my to do list, I will feel better. Yeah. And one of the things on my to do list was to create a packing list, like for my trip. Mm-hmm. It took me literally five minutes. I felt so much better after. And then I was like, it's so stupid. It took me five minutes, but you feel way better. And then when you do one thing, it kind of motivates you to do yeah. the next thing. Like if you've been putting off, cleaning for a while sometimes people are like put a 10 minute timer on see how much you can clean in that time odds are when the timer goes off you're, you're gonna, gonna be like oh my god already be on the roll yeah and you're just gonna keep cleaning the exactly room, so. uh-huh okay so we're gonna read what you guys submitted on instagram uh i posted on my story it was like hey guys healthy girl habits it girl habits whatever um This first one, actually, I love that this girl said this because she said everybody says that like one of the main ones is exercising. You know, that's like a given. Like a lot of people say exercise to feel good, whatever. She goes, everyone says exercise, but also listening to your body and resting it when you need. I like that, too. Yeah, 100 percent. Like if you just need like a do nothing day, have a do nothing day. Yeah, That's only if you actually need it. Yeah. Like don't like like don't confuse laziness for needing my body to rest. Right. You know. Yeah. (laughs) But I like that she said that though because it is very important to get proper rest as it is to you know work out and everything. Uh, Another girl said Another girl said everything showers, which we touched on a little bit. I feel like a new person after them. And everything shower is such a form of self-care. It's absolutely self-tanning is like the number one thing that makes me feel really good about myself. Like, you know, I'm like, like, I'm so pale right now. Like, you know, I've had like a busy, chaotic week if I'm pale. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Work base said pooping. He, he do be pooping. You know what? He taking a nice farting. shit. Dude, the other day we're... Take st- a good shit. Like, he clear it out. in front of Ryan all the time now. I'm like, <laughs> stop. <laughs> oh, my God. Said pooping. Stretching in the morning. Mm. Like, as soon as you wake up. I actually used to do this a lot living in my old apartment. Like, from bed. Like, I would wake up and do, like, a morning stretch, like, yeah. while I was still in bed. And I did always feel much, like, better. I don't know. It's so random. I stretch like once a day. Like when my back is so fucked up, I'll randomly just be talking to someone. I'm like, hold on a minute. Yeah. (laughs) Oh my God. I'm always, I always be stretching my back, like cracking my back. (sighs) I love this one. This girl said, put on music and dance around your room. Oh yeah. That's my best form of self care. I love that. I'm a big karaoke. As soon as my roommate leaves, I love to sing, bitch. I got fucking karaoke going. Oh, I be singing. I be singing. Like hundred percent. This, Okay. I actually really like this. And this I was going to mention if we were to do that, like how to be sexy episode or like how to feel sexy, which maybe we'll do that in another episode. But this girl said, take nudes. Like, don't even send them to anybody. Period. Like, just start like I've feeling definitely yourself. I've done that before. Like, look at yourself in the mirror. Be like, I'm fucking hot and take some hot nudes of Work yourself. Been and look at them. I've seen a nude in my camera multiple occasions and been like, what is that? Who'd you send that to? You didn't send that to me. And I'm like, you're like, no, it's for me. Bitch, I literally just wanted to look at myself. I do that all the time. Like if I happen to be like in like my mirror and I just have like my underwear on and I look really nice, take a fucking nude. Just if you look good, yeah. take a nude. Do it for yourself. Wait, I love this one. Taking a bubble bath. I feel like baths really cure most things. No, they are amazing. I love a bath. I, I have never taken one in my apartment really no why and i have all these bath bombs i don't know i i got this tub clog thing that you know the water stops and doesn't work so i gotta get a new one oh because <laughs> i have get a all new these one. bath bombs if you want oh no because <laughs> my boyfriend's staying at my apartment i was like well i'm in italy you could take a bath here you know what's funny i almost was gonna be like can i have your keys for when you're gone like i want to work here and use your gym but well then you know like, that he i mean he works he would, like yeah. crazy hours now you could come here during the day well I'll, you know i'll think about it 
<laughs> That'd be funny. I know. He like gets home and you're like, hi. Hey, you want to watch a movie? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm replacing watch shark- Christina while she's shark tank? gone. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people are saying positive affirmations, like writing down your affirmations in the morning. No. Oh, God. And like manifestations. I used to be that bitch in 2020. Dude. I phased out of doing it. I was I my just, happiest when I was in. I was just talking about this with Work Bay when I had my mental breakdown. I was like, I need to get back into manifestation. Yeah, but I really was my happiest. No, literally, it's because hard you to know get what into it, it. It feels a little cringe at first. It does. But you want to know what's it. really funny though that somebody wrote on here, but kind of plays a role. I was like, oh, that's funny. LOL. This girl goes being delusional. No, which is yeah, yeah. Hilarious though, because technically, when you're manifesting, you are being fucking delusional. Because you're writing down that you already have what you want. Exactly. It, yeah. I love being delusional. It yeah. It works for me. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's, I mean, literally fake it till you make it. Yeah. Be a little Period. delulu. Yeah. You need it. Manifestation, manifesting is being delusional. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. All right, guys. Time for toxic confession. This is a shorter episode, but me and Lily needed this. <laughs> uh, yeah well yeah and i feel like you know you guys sometimes complain when we do shorter episodes but i'm there's i'm sure there's some people that like yeah it. <laughs> so i feel like our sweet spot is anywhere between an hour 15 to an hour and a half like a little bit under a little bit over it's like yeah whatever, whatever. It happens yeah anyways all right toxic confession uh so this girl goes last month over spring break i spontaneously decided to go home to try and relax for about a week and a half from the chaos which that is college so she goes home trying to relax from college. Since it was planned last minute and I wanted to surprise my family, I decided to stay my duration of the trip at my friends with benefits house. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everything was great for the first few days and we did all the things that friends with benefits obviously do. However, the first Saturday night that I was there, I got a text from my ex as I was laying in bed with the guy. My friends with benefits was going to bed and I wasn't tired. So I got up and I moved to the living room where I proceeded to keep texting my ex. The last few months have been very flirty between us, even hinting at possibly hooking up casually. But neither of us actually went through with it. One thing leads to another and I end up calling him and we spend two hours talking before it starts getting really flirty. We're, he, she goes, sorry. She goes, he, I'm talking. What? Oh, okay. So she's like, she's like, I'm talking about this, whatever. Anyways, he starts reminiscing on past sexy times with each other. So like he's talking about like he misses the sex between them and whatever. I end up sending him some spicy pics and then we fall asleep on the phone together. And I'm literally doing this all while I'm at another guy's house. I feel like such a trash person, but my friends with benefits and I have established that it is simply sex and we don't want each other in a different way, but I feel like I'm just such a messy person now. On top of all of that, I'm still in love with my ex, but I'm too much of a pussy to tell him. I'm just making all of this way more complicated for myself. So this is very yeah, she's interesting. Setting herself up for she's definitely setting herself up, but we like we're talking about this a little bit before and it's not like, here's the thing. She's staying at her friends with benefits house, but they establish very clearly that it is only sex. So is it really wrong what she's doing? No, I mean, not I don't think really. it's wrong. I just think she's, I, I, I don't, see why she's like freaking out about right. it. Right. I don't really care about the guy that is the friends with benefits guy. Like, fuck him. He yeah. signed up for that. Like, yeah. it, you know, it's like. She said they had the conversation. Right. So. And sometimes if you, if you have the conversation and someone ends up still getting hurt, it's like, well, we had the conversation. Yeah. So, you know, it happens. But I'm more worried about the girl because she's just like making her head spin now. It's yeah. like if you're really in love with someone, like I understand you're scared to tell him. But like sometimes it just hurts you more if you start hooking up with someone else because it's like you're forcing yourself to like cover yeah. up those feelings when like you just can't so I think sometimes it's better until you're totally over someone to just really be like what's the word abstinent whatever <laughs> like just abstinent. don't don't hook up. yeah just don't like that's what Seek I was gonna God. do when me and Workway broke up I was like I am not gonna see anyone for yeah. a long time like because yeah. you're just setting yourself up to like feel disappointed in yourself and miss someone and like yeah you know. I mean it's her ex too and if I mean she's like I really miss my ex but I'm too much of like a wimp to say anything but it seems like they've been flirting a lot and sexting unless he is only like wants her for like a booty call sort of thing but like I mean she said they were up on the phone talking for like two hours or all night or whatever she said I forget oh wow 
Yeah. So I don't know, girl, if you're listening to this, I feel like you might feel the same or there's he's literally just like he wants someone comfortable to send him some fucking titties. Yeah. I mean, ugh. yeah, he wants the titties for sure. Well, yeah, <laughs> he's obviously for the titty pics. he wants the titties. Uh. But anyways, uh, that's it. Short episode this week, guys, but we love you. Make sure to go follow us at Gin Toxic Podcast on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. DM us your toxic confessions. Uh, I recently, actually, as of today, opened up our Twitter DMs also. So now you can send oh, us I, your yeah. toxic confessions on Twitter Great. and you can send it to us Why on didn't Instagram. We do that? And I don't know. Hours. I think it was just easier to have it in one place, but yeah. I'll check both now. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, Twitter and Instagram, you can send us your toxic confessions. Also, I get a lot of like DMs. Like everyone's like, please keep this anonymous, but toxic confession. Obviously. The toxic confessions are always anonymous guys they mm-hmm. will always half be anonymous. the time i don't even know i didn't even see it like christina just sees it I, yeah i just know? like read it yeah but yeah no so don't worry they will always be anonymous and we don't judge you i've done some terrible things yeah. <laughs> that i've never said on the show oh yeah <laughs> we got some fucked up shit yeah so don't you worry <laughs> no judgment <laughs> but yeah so dm toxic confessions go follow us on our personals linked in the episode description and we'll see you next week see with you karen next week yep All right. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.